Hello friends, I welcome you all to my channel. Today, I'd like to share two algebra, algebraic equation. One is x raised to the power 6 minus 1 is equal to 0. And second one is x to the power 6 plus 1 is equal to 0. So first equation is x raised to the 6 minus 1 is equal to 0. Now applying your remainder theorem or factor theorem, you can find that x is equal to here 1 or minus 1. So maybe any value x can be 1, x can be minus 1. Because if you will put x is equal to minus 1, this equation satisfies as well as for 1 it satisfies. So these are the two values. Let us see any more values or not. So for that, I am factorizing x to the power 6 minus 1 can be written as x cube square minus 1 square or that will be x cube plus 1 multiplies x cube minus 1 is 0. Here, I am getting either Q plus 1 is 0 or x s q minus 1 is 0. So at case 1 is the case 1 when x s q plus 1 is 0 then x s q is equal to minus 1. I can write this is minus 1 whole cube. So x is equal to minus 1 as I resumed or applying factor theorem I got this answer. Here also I am getting the same answer. But if I will factorize again this x s cube plus 1, it can be written as x plus 1 multiplies x a square minus x plus 1. This is equal to 0. So either x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x square minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. If x plus 1 is 0, that means x is equal to minus 1. So no need of going to this step. Directly I can come to this step. So x is equal to minus 1. Now coming to second part. If it is x square minus x plus 1 is equal to 0, so this is again a quadratic equation in x. So there is no real values, but I can get some imaginary value or I can get some complex value. So here a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1, c is equal to 1 then x is equal to, I am applying the quadratic formula, this is minus b plus 1 plus minus square root b square 1 minus 4 into 1, that will be negative 4 whole open 2. So this can be written as 1 plus minus square root minus 3, 2. Square root minus 3 has no value in real form but it can be in imaginary real number imaginary number system so what's it let me write here the so square root of minus 3 can be written as root 3 into minus 1 minus 1 means it is iota by 2 so here this is your complex root not real so I am getting one real root here, x minus 1, and this is complex root from x s cube plus 1 is equal to 0. Now I am coming to case 2, where x s cube minus 1 is equal to 0. Now directly I will go for the factor term, so x minus 1 
multiplies x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So here either x minus 1 is 0 or x square plus x plus 1 is 0. Now if x minus 1 is 0, this gives us x is equal to 1. Or if x square plus x plus 1 is 0, again I won't get any real number value because the discriminant will be negative here but negative discriminant can be written in imaginary number using iota so x is equal to minus 1 b is positive here plus minus square root b square is 1 minus again 4 by 2 so negative 3 i am getting so x is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root 3 into iota by 2. So that is your complex root. So what are the real roots I am getting? So x to the power 6 minus 1 has solutions plus 1 minus 1. This is real root real number and here x is equal to 1 this is real so these two are real and these two are complex roots so there are again four roots so i'm getting one is 1 plus minus root 3i by 2 1 minus root 3i over 2 minus 1 plus root 3i over 2 minus 1 minus root 3i over 2. So these are the solutions. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 solutions are there. Now coming to x to the power 6 plus 1 is equal to 0. So here if you put x is equal to 1 or you will try any other value using this remainder or factor theorem you are not getting the solution it does not satisfy in the same way x is equal to minus 1 also does not satisfy this equation then how to proceed we know that x is q plus y cube is equal to x plus 1 y multiplies x square minus x y plus y square so i will apply the same formula here for x to the power 6 writing as your square cube and this is one cube so this will be x square plus 1 multiplies x to the power 4 minus x square plus 1 is equal to 0. Or there are two factors now. One is x square plus 1, 0 or x to the power 1 minus x square plus 1 is 0. If first one is 0, x square plus 1 is 0 then x square is equal to minus 1. Minus, if x square is minus 1, there is no real value satisfying this equation, but there, are, there is imaginary value. What is it? x is equal to square root of minus 1, that will be iota. It may be plus iota, it may be minus iota because i square is minus 1 as well as negative i square is also minus 1. So now I am getting two values. One is plus i and minus i. i stands for iota. In the second one, x to the power 4 minus x square plus 1 is 0. So this is not a quadratic equation but I can make into 
quadratic equation by taking let x square be a then this equation is can be represented as a square minus a plus 1 is 0 so again it has no real values of a because here b square minus 4 ac discriminant is negative but once we have to find the solution we will go for the imaginary root or complex root so i'll write a is equal to minus b b is here negative 1 so it will be 1 plus minus b square b square is 1 square 1 minus 4 times of 1 over 2 so this is equal to 1 plus minus square root of negative 3 again i am getting so it will be 1 plus minus square root 3 and negative 1 i will write i would by 2 so a is equal to 1 plus minus root 3 by i by 2 what was a a was x square so i'll write x square is equal to 1 plus minus root 3 i over 2 then what is x x is square root of this square root of 1 plus minus root 3 i over 2 so it can be again positive again neg and negative so it will be 1 plus root 3 i over 2 so here all are complex root or imaginary roots so x is equal to first is i negative i then plus 1 plus minus 3i by 2 and about this negative you can mention this one so there will be negative 1 minus root 3i two. so these are the four roots so I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. See you later.